go get gas and then you go head to Yorktown and you stop at the Yorktown thing and then after that we can talk more. Bye. So here we go, we're going to let Mo uh, take the uh, lead, I don't know how he rides so it's best if uh, he takes the lead and he seems to know where he's going and this is the start of a very long day. Mercury. He seems to be doing quite quite well. You know, he seems comfortable. in front of me is because the motorcycle I'm riding has to, uh, over twice the horsepower and I don't want him to have to struggle to keep up because this is a uh, Triumph uh, T1 T100 yes so it's um, about 60 horsepower mine is uh, 136 horsepower Stopping for gas, I don't really need gas, but I'll fill up anyway. Always when you have the opportunity for gas and you can get something in your tank, do it. Turn towards Yorktown here, the famous uh, last battle of the British Army or the English Army. Here to my right, this is the victory mon monument to the uh, victory of the uh, colonial army against the English army. here at York Town and take some photographs and break up our journey a little bit. five minutes uh, talking and taking pictures. Now we're going to go towards the Colonial Parkway and go through the uh, centre of Yorktown or across the waterfront of uh, Yorktown. Always a good idea to drive very slowly here at Yorktown Beach. People tend to just run out in front of you. As we, I was putting my motorcycle out this morning because I was just going to go for a short ride. My neighbour came up to me and said, uh, want to go for a ride? So I said, why not? Here we're going to go to the right onto the Colonial Parkway. There's a few entrances to this. This is not the one I would have chosen, but it works. Nice bit of a corner. That's a bit, a bit windy. He's forgetting to cancel his uh, indicator.
and I believe this is the, the parkway proper. The speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. Came to to my right, my neighbour in front. Trying to get a little bit closer. Stay off that uh, straight black line you can see in front of me because that uh, causes my wheel to wobble. And we don't want to do that. Speeding a little bit. Actual speed limit here is 45 miles an hour and we're doing 55. Which for me is not a problem, I don't mind. windows to that bus. Is this the, uh, the tunnel? This is the tunnel. I'm over taking here to take the lead because he wasn't sure how to get uh, to the ferry. All you have to do is go through the parking lot of the uh, Jamestown uh, Visitor Centre and then turn left at the end and that's how you get to the, uh, uh, the ferry. So now we're on our way to the Jamestown Ferry, which is right ahead of us. As we're approaching the checkpoint for the Jamestown Ferry, it seems that we have a little bit of traffic in front of us. By the amount of uh, coming on traffic, I don't think the uh, ferry is in yet, but we'll see. Um, Seems that uh, some of the uh, vehicles in front of us are having to be checked. So Keep going. You guys together? Yeah. Thank you. Now onto the causeway that takes us to the ferry docks. As I look forward I can see that there is no ferry waiting for us, so we're going to have to uh, park up here and wait for a bit. But it's a beautiful day, so uh, we're really, really busy. Just a On the ferry, the vehicles are going extremely slow. Just going to take it easy. There's nothing else I can do. Just have to wait for the uh, cars in front to uh, park up, and then it will be our turn to get onto the ferry. I always try and uh, take the ferry ramp at uh, 90 degrees so that uh, it doesn't damage my tyres or it doesn't make the uh, motorcycle move too much under me.
Pocahontas again. Always Pocahontas. This is where I'm going to end this uh, video for now. The return trip I will do at a later date.